Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey in here with the next part of the random battle road to the top 10. Let's go ahead and look for a battle. I swear I will complete this. This will definitely be completed before let's this will be completed before summer is done. I I I, I swear that. Now, um I finally have curse, nice. Uh choice scarf you Dust Tox, Bug Buzz. I got swept by one of these. Uh Choice Ban. Alright, I guess Choice Scarf Serena is literally my only play on Mega Diancy. Ideally, uh, it's a 2 KO. And I would say that because I, again, I'm Choice Scarf, so. Hey. So I want him to be, you know, enticed to stay in as I go for an attack. But, goes Oricorio. It's Psychic plus Flying Oricorio. Uh, Toxic U turn has a good chance of being used. I uh, will go Kirim. Uh, if he turns out to Deancey, that's okay because I can eat the hit because I, uh, again, because of my assault vest. Uh, ideally, I'm a bad Kiram set and I have flash cannon. No? Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I need to weaken this thing. I'll eat that hit. Don't get the... Nice. I wanted to weaken it for Zard. So all the damage on it did matter. Bug buzz, shield dust, defog. Honestly, think Dust Tox is pretty expendable right here. Yeah, like for real, <laughs> it's not that good in this matchup. Uh, though maybe he can't touch me. I do hit the uh, Sludge Bomb on Oricorio, obviously 100%. I, I guess maybe he can't. I, I don't really care if he roosts as long as I potentially poison him with this Sludge Bomb. Uh, he can roost on me. He has to go for his Revelation Dance. I don't necessarily have a switch in. Actually, I do. He goes for Hurricane, man. Do I double it or do I sucker? I'm thick fat. Ew. I'm double edging. Sucker punch is so obvious. I'm thick fat though, so like, there's no risk of this missing, but at the same time, look how little this does to my opponent. This does absolutely nothing to my opponent. If, even if he sets up, I have Serena in the back, so I might as well try and weaken him with this. Um, I'm trying to go for that Zard, oh, that, Zar, that Snorlax sweep uh, at the end of the day. Don't need to reveal Snorlax just yet. Yeah, I'm not going to reveal Snorlax just yet. We'll Shadow Ball here in case he wants to go to his Oricorio. Again, even though it's only a 9% Wiz Cash. Uh, Oricorio can't beat Snorlax. Um, the main thing I'm worried about is obviously uh, Deancey getting... Lucky versus me. But the good thing is, Kurum, uh, well, it won't outspeed, but he cannot knock me out. And if he goes Deancey, he's letting me weaken it. So, Kragano is another mon that I can potentially set up on. Kragatin, Toxic. We'll go Passimian. As the Ice Beams, that's fine. Uh, does not have a Choice Band Rock Slide switch in. At the moment, that'll knock out Oricorio. Uh, that'll also hit Deancey for some good damage. I'm assuming 40. Again, I'm going for that Snorlax sweep. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that by me holding Snorlax in the back, it can win this game. So it doesn't have the... Uh, it has to go for Hurricane. Worth risking. He already hit two. It's worth risking. So uh, good. I get rid of Oricorio there. Assuming he's going to bring out... Oh, it's not even... It's Gator, man. I actually have to flinch this Gator to death. I'm gonna lose to this Gator. I legitimately had to flinch him to death. As I, I get it twice, but like, I, I literally lose. I know I'm hacking the hell out of him, but I literally lose this Gator if he gets the plus one. I hate water types like that. Gyarados, Gator. But now we can sack Kirim. Obviously, I got ridiculously lucky there. I'm not trying to downplay it, but I. I made the play I had to do. I literally lost that Gator at plus one. And now Scarf DNC. Click that Power Whip. Scarf, are the, the boosted water types are so nasty. It's Life Orb. Alright, time to reveal Snorlax. And try and sweep from there. His next Leaf Storm is going to hurt. Goes for Glare, which is smart. Yeah, Glare was very, very smart on my opponent's part. Uh, look how much that second one did, my goodness. Alright, that's okay, that's not like- I actually have to hit all my power whips. <sighs> I 
I think the play is to U-turn out into Passimian, get Deancey in, get in Serena, and then click power. Because I need an, uh, the situation where it's Serena versus Deancey. But that won't happen if I don't go for... If I go for Power Whip, because he'll never go to Yancey. I think he still wins no matter what I do. Yeah, so, like, my only play is to hope that the Yancey doesn't get the roll versus my Serena. Uh, it got the 49, so... <laughs> there's, a, there's a rule of thumb. If it gets the 49, it's gonna get the, uh, the 50. But I, I have to hope. This is the only thing I can hope for. Big game. That's all I could've, uh... That's all I could've hoped for. Um, like, literally that. Like, I, I did not... <sighs> Even the hacks my opponent, but still could not come back from it. All right, well, Spirit Shackle right here is pretty free. He's not going to do too much to me. Uh, do I have default on the team? I do not. Wow, Focus Dash Doug Trio in the back without default. Lovely. No Poison type either. That's cool. So what's Spirit Shackle right there? Ah! Why can't I have a Doug Trio in the last game? Actually, U-turn's fine. I can U-turn out to Dugtro. And just trap him. Yeah, that's completely fine. Especially if he Acid Spray's turn one over going for Stealth Rock or anything like that. Goes Registeel. I'm gonna hope that uh, he's trapped here with me and I'm not trapped here with him. I'm legitimately gonna hope that he's trapped here with me and I'm not trapped here with him. Okay, it looks like he's trapped here. Looks like it's pretty even on who's trapped with who. I'll get in my rocks first. Because we get in Delphox, click Fire Blast. Uh, I think I'm faster than Nihiligo, and I think that rocks with Fire Blast will put it in range of Psy Shock. It's Life Orb, so... Um, it sucks to lose Dug Trio so early, because it could do its job, but like without being z Duggy, I might have limited him there, because I think I'll be able to knock out Nihiligo. Like, it does not have good defense at all. And Psyshock obviously hits on that side. Him also showing Registeel as his initial Decidueye switching makes it me feel like I'll be okay with Decidueye versus his squad. I like my Decidueye Z move. That's really cool. I love Decidueye. I think it's such a cool looking Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. Well, go ahead and knock me off, my man. That's a fun Pokemon to play versus. Uh, first impression is so obvious, I'm gonna go for Psycho Boost. I mean, what? <laughs> Oof, I thought I was Deoxys for a second. I'm going for Liquidation is what I meant to say. That's Defense, 56, 85, 40, which is 60. Mm, about half of that. A little bit less than half. But with the Defense Drop, this should actually knock him out. Yep, yeah. okay, cool. Quick maths. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We keep the yo Galas uh, is actually keeping Deoxys in check too, which is amazing. Oh god, Zerkatry comes out. Scarf is a huge chance. Uh, my play is to sack Oricor. I need to keep this thing alive. Let him volt switch on me. That is for sure Scarf. So that's something I gotta worry about. Kinda wanna get a patches if I'm able to. Uh, the good thing is he's kinda forced to go Deoxys here. And Deoxys is forced to take more hits. Uh, a Deoxys with HP and attack kind of... Wait, what? Okay. If you're gonna get up rocks, you give me an extra hit on you. This it, it does not make sense if you take this hit. It literally does not make sense. This is life orb on the physical side. This will also knock out Deoxys. I refuse to believe Deoxys will live this too. Um, well, okay, it locked out in level 100 Deoxys with full EV Delphox, but I have to make this play. I gotta keep Del um, Decidueye alive because of the Zerkatry. I gotta keep uh, Golisopod alive because of Deoxys. It's kinda tough for me no matter what. Uh, would we very much like to get rid of this mod? If possible. If possible, of course. That's only if possible. I really wish my Oricorio was faster. Obviously it's not, like at level 100 grounds, but you know what? Level 77 versus Oricorio, why couldn't you be like two points faster? Get off a nice hit, wouldn't have to worry about this. Chip away at something. He might actually save Nihiligo too. 
and maybe go Zerkatry as a pivot because again, at uh, this level, Mons are relatively bulky due to their investment. Like even the, I'm actually not sure if Deoxys will go down to this attack. I don't even know if Nihiligo is going to go down into this attack, attack either. Obviously. Okay, nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I'm risking it. Nice. Crap. I have to go all in with one mon. See, the Delphox will be in blaze. I, I have to. I have to sack. And first impression here. I had the first impression, and <sighs> he could e-speed. Thankfully, it doesn't. It won't activate my thing again. All right, so Deoxys goes down. Beautiful. I'm just gonna jet here for damage. As he's gonna volt switch. I'm. I'm if he if he that comfortably volt switch, his last has to beat Decidueye, doesn't it? If he ultra bursts, come on. Let's go! Let's go, Decidueye! Woo! Okay, okay. It comes down to this. So I obviously Leaf Blade here, and I win. Yes! Let's go! Woo! Let's go. I don't know why he didn't. I think he should have switched at the end and went, just went hard into that Mon. I'm assuming it was a Trick Room set. Thankfully, because if it ultra bursted into Ultra Necrozma, I would have lost right there. Because he would have easily just gotten off a hit. And then, actually probably knocked me out. So this thing runs Trick occasionally. I don't want him crippling me, so I'm actually going to go out uh, into Garchomp. If he double edges, I have two Steel types in the back. Yeah. You would go out to a Flying type versus this, so I'm going to go Heat Ran. I think he's Choice Band too, because I switched out first. Alright, that's not a Flying type. Hydro pump is gonna hurt, but you know what? Do you have defog? I hope not. You can't hurt Stalin on this, in this terrain. So we know that's banded for it because I switched out first. I don't care if he combines. I get a choice band return off. Now that that should do a KO. Yep, easily. That's why I didn't go for raw charge. You can't burn me in this, his own terrain. And uh, you want to give me Tapu Fini when I have a Pukamuku, beautiful, a Mianchao, Garchomp, I would gladly get rid of this monster. Gladly get rid of this monster. Furret comes back out. Uh, no point in letting anything take damage. I don't want Puku to take damage if I don't need to. Aqua Tail is a very solid play on my opponent's part for sure. I'm going to get up. A light scream first because I feel like a special attack is the only thing that could really knock me out, and he goes Rose Raid. Sweet. I'll go Bisharp here. Bisharp should be able to take you on. Goes for Sleep Powder and unfortunately misses. Uh, he can go for another one, but I burn the uh, first immediate turn of sleep, like right here. So there's a chance I wake up. Um, T Spike will be annoying if he goes for them. Spikes, not as much. I mean, spikes are annoying too, but T Spike is the most annoying one. For sure. Uh, so when I SD up with Garchomp thus far, everything goes down. When I SD up with Garchomp right now, everything goes down. Especially because, as you see, that Light Rock is Life Orb. It's not like Choice Scarf or anything. Not that that's an option. Okay. I don't really care if you SD. It's a plus six. Just, yeah, exactly. Go Bisharp on the light screen. So that goes down to Earthquake. Sets up a spike, which is nice. Um, well, Iron Head here because he showed his initial switching already. And if he wants to sleep me, that's fine too. Again, it can miss. Uh, knock is a good mid-ground play anyway. 
he wants to go for the final layer of spike, that's fine too. And because I'm asleep now, I don't want him going hard like in rock, so I'm actually going to go for Iron Head again. He could just get up his final layer, but if he does go like in rock and I wake up, beautiful. Goes Golbat. And I do wake up, nice. I get some nice, beautiful chip off on Golbat, that's very important. And we'll click knock off one more time. So again, even if he burns me, it'll be annoying, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Mian Shao is faster than every single Pokemon on the field. And it does have Regenerator, so I'll go Mian Shao. Or every single Pokemon, like, well, there's two Pokemon on the field. Yes, Mian Shao was technically faster than both of them. Uh, but Mian Shao is faster than all the Pokemon I've seen left. And because I haven't knocked off Rose Raid, I think that after Stealth Rock, it goes down to knock off anyway. So, um, we really need something nasty as his last Mon. I'm gonna knock you off, I don't care. Hey, KO'd after rocks, beautiful. All right, so this is an easy Earthquake sweep. Yep, Just especially if he goes first, first. it's lovely. Because I never have to click anything other than, uh, other than knock off. Yep, and then it's an easy Earthquake sweep. So... Quick return right here. Uh, basically, I didn't want to risk the speed tie with my Furret. Or my Garchomp versus him. Again, it was already confirmed he wasn't Scarf. It was obviously banned. I just knocked off his ban. I didn't want to risk that speed tie if necessary. If unnecessary, excuse me. And we'll just Outrage here. I'll definitely knock you out. And Lycanroc... Even if it doesn't go down, it has a life orb and everything, and I have innards out at the end of the day too. So, plus it's uh, it's dual stab cannot knock me out, and I keep my rough skin as well, and I'm always faster. I didn't know what the speed tier was. Yeah, go ahead and take some Rocky Helmet and rough skin. Not bad, damn dude. Hey, got our W. That's what matters. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let us keep going. Okay, see, in that case Mega Garchomp would have been <laughs> pretty bad for me. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. As a lead, HP fire has a 50% chance to come. That's awesome. This thing is actually a threat, but I do have double poison type though. I'm gonna drone. Let him T spike. That doesn't matter. I'm focus ash as well, so I don't I don't care so much. Let's go for another drone. Doesn't matter if he switches like at all. Like, the only, the worst thing that can happen right now is he goes to Balloon Trend, and I didn't knock off, so I can't hit him with the one after. Or I guess he could burn me with Scald, which he does. That's fine. Click Knock Off here. T-Spike again does not matter. I have Double Poison in the back, and I also have a Steel type. Literally every mon on my team does not care about <laughs> that T-Spike at all. That's incredible. So, drops to Draco. Gonna be able to knock out Dragalgi right here. Beautiful. See, typically, I would be, I feel really, if I were him, I feel really comfortable that I just got a T spike, you know? Probably gonna go up to a setup mon now. Maybe I shouldn't have stayed in. Probably Gyarados, too. Gyarados, I, I think Mega Gyarados, when actually has Dragon Dance, is the most annoying thing to fight. First off, great ability. Mold Breaker, ridiculous. Especially versus those Unaware mons, those, those, the, the, the Shadow Shield mons, Prism Armor mons, multi scale. I think that's broken. I think honestly, set up dark types in the end, specifically Gyarados, and like, you know, Comline Lunala, Alternate Krasma out, out a little bit, busted in the back. Obviously, those aren't dark types, only <laughs> like Gyarados was, uh, but ghost types too, and, you know, offensive steel types. And there goes the, uh, there goes you. Okay, let me close combat. Me. Go Psyche right now because it will definitely knock you out minus one with Shear Force. We'll point an Earth Power. Wow, I can't believe Life Orb would have done so much more. It's ridiculous how much I did. <laughs> then again, Adamant Choice Ban Terrakion with two KO Landers. I remember those back in the day. Even regular Choice Ban Terrakion uh, with Rocks with two at KO. Uh, Psychic Alunatone. Am I going to lose this thing? It's earth power, doesn't it? Yeah, 28%. Whatever, I need to weaken you for the landers anyway. Because landers right now, earth power is the... Um, 
Earth powers the and knocks it out. So I'm okay with sacking this. As he goes for Calm Mind, so that's great. Uh, even if I didn't get this Bedef drop, I would still be able to 2 KO him. He can't switch hard into Terrakion, so he's more than likely going to switch. But if he wants to give me Lunatone and I can click Earth Power, I will take it. Oh god, not you. How do I not lose to this? Return? See, this doesn't help me win, because as long as he has rest, he can beat me. I mean, Willow helps in general. Uh, versus Lunatone, Terrakion. Thank you for having leftovers, by the way, not on a stupid balloon. Um, Willow, Willow. Perfect. Pain split, I get a lot of HP back. The C spike being there, though it doesn't affect any of my team, annoys me. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. And I have the life orb, uh, life orb super power to knock him out. That's incredible. All right, awesome. Yeah, that's like the best row when you get, first off, the T spike gone, so my annoyance isn't there. Obviously, it doesn't affect any of my team, but the fact that I was there. And painfully got my Rotom back up to full, which is amazing. I'm not gonna mess around with Snorlax. I'm not gonna let him rest. Yeah, get the hell out of my sight, you special sponge. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's go on. This is, this is looking winnable, for sure. Terrakion's obviously gonna come out. It's not Life Orb though, so I don't think it can knock me out with Earthquake, even though even if I'm minus one. So I'm debating staying in. I'll calc that though. Because Nido King is technically supposed to be the, uh, yeah, I knew it was coming out too. Nido King is technically supposed to be the, uh, <laughs> what's one of the few mons that resists Terrakion's dual stab, another one being Golurk. I don't know I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but this is Yeah, I'm telling you guys this so I can. Eighty four. Terrakion is so strong. Oh my gosh. Ninety eight to hundred sixteen. That's ridiculous how how much that does. Alright, Osaka's Cavalier. Ideally he knocks me out here. And he goes for subs, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> My Scarf Zone is slower too. I should have Earth Powered. He misses right there, as I missed too. Wait, can he... Is he sub... Is he actually... Can he not touch me? Or does he not have Stealth Rock? Is he close combat, Stone Edge? Woof! That boy cannot touch me. There's no way you give me this. There is just no way you give it makes no sense, yeah. Oh he shifts uh, he switches the shift tree. I did not expect that. I thought Lunatone was coming out. But you know what? We take those. For sure we take those. I'm not gonna stay in, especially when I know that all I gotta do is break Terrakion sub to knock it out with Needle King, so. Lovely. And we'll just Thunderbolt right here. No point in not. It's Lunatone, it's Terrakion for good damage. I don't care if Shift Tree goes down, it's faster than Needle King, so I wasn't gonna stay in anyway. I'm 100% staying in on Terrakion too. I can't let it get a free sub versus me again. I only Ice Beam there because Lunatone, I felt like Lunatone was out of range of an attack if I didn't hit it upon switching. That makes sense. Go ahead and sub, my man. Go ahead and sub and risk your stone edges. Earth power is all in the play. I don't care. If, nah, I don't care if he goes alone to I don't think his Lunatone can touch my, uh, my magnet zone. My Diana, I'm not taking any unnecessary damage. Hell no, I'm not letting you sucker punch me. Hell no. Go ahead and crunch. All I gotta do is spam Flash Cannon now. So Flash Cannon gets me a KO here. Um, don't mind, of course. Yes, 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 Nido King. Nido King, you... Go. 
Go for close combat, bro. Go for close combat so I can click Psychic. You gotta go for close combat, dude. I mean, I guess you can sub and lower your HP. I don't mind. Come on. There we go. If I weaken him, I can go for Ice Beam with this, right? No, this is the best play. Clicking Psychic as well, so I hit Lunatone, and then making him come down to Focus Blast. Uh, or at least my Focus Blast, because if, if I land a Psychic, Focus Blast will get, will 70% of the time knock him out. He's back. He's back! Okay. Combine is my play, because he's gonna go for Morning Sun. I mean, uh, Moonlight. Come on! 64! Ooh, the next one knocks him out if it does land, but it's only it's only 40%. I don't want to lose the Lunatone. Come on, game. Give me something to work with. Come on, game. Are you kidding me? I think I just lost, man. I think I lost. Straight up garbage, man. This is some straight up garbage. I played it literally to the point to have a 70% chance to win. Like, I, I, when I had a bad matchup versus Terrakion, because I, I like, Mon that could take the hit, but that was it. That's so garbage, man. I'm actually upset as hell about that. Um, that's ridiculous. That worked out for my opponent. Well, what I should have done was, the, the only reason I didn't focus blast on Terrakion switch is because if he subbed and I missed, I guess it would be okay, because I could get a Needle King. No, I would have to get a Nagana Del. It'd still be a trouble with Lunatone. That was still garbage. I don't care what anybody says. That was garbage. Get all the Scald now. I'm trying to burn something. I'm getting mad. That was garbage. Get the burn on him. Yeah. Lovely. Give me this Steelix. I hope you don't have an answer for Swallow now. Yeah, give me Battle Bond Greninja and SD Cartana. That's what I like to see. So Earth Power. Actually knock him out because of the stab. Beautiful. Show me your Swallow. So I love my team. I love my team. Cacturn. No. Seed Bomb. Sorry, my man. Can't let you get that KO right there. Uh, and then this is something that actually is useful versus my Greninja because it resists both its stab uh, And one of them it could actually absorb because of its ability So ideally we just win this game and we win it really really quickly because I'm, I'm mad about that last game. That was a W That was a W. I played that to the best of my ability Maybe I didn't. There were probably some turns I could have Again, that, that's a whole gamble with 50-50 and whatnot Go ahead and enjoy this I have Limber Cherry Bear. Why, why don't why don't I have a better ability, man? 188. Be drill. Go ahead and do that. And give him a nice KO. This thing is so cool. I, I always thought it was such a cool Pokemon. It has such an interesting move pool too. Like, how does it get Sucker Punch? But like they, they just the stats, man. They're not that good. 295 speed, eh? In a metagame like this, eh? Stanley should have evolved, man. What are you doing? Oh, oh, it's a Cartana sweep again. I mean, this thing is pretty nasty in Rambats. I'm not gonna lie. This thing is pretty nasty. Roost. Roost. You better hope I get full para, bro. Otherwise, you die if you roost. You lose that flying type. I'm about to say. Alright, so. 
Mega Steelix is gone. Uh, I don't know what he has for Beedrill, but I know for a fact, as long as I keep it alive, this Togekiss is not a problem. Alright, what's your last? It has to be something super nasty. Cool. 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 Don't even have my, uh... I think I, 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 think I win this. I think. I think I win this. As long as quick attack and the fake out on the mock punch. It really had to be. It really was this, man. I can't believe it was actually this Pokemon. But I win, thankfully. Thankfully, I win. But did, did you guys see that? I said it had to be something super nasty. And he brought out something that could actually set up and beat my entire team. Luckily, I have Hitmonlee in the back right here. And he wasn't alternate Cosmos. So, I'm get mock punch in the face and give me your points. All right, we're going to end it there. I can't believe he had this thing in the back. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, enjoy my pain, enjoy my tears. What is our, what is our even our rank right now? I bet we're not even 2200 anymore. 2105. I am barely struggling to hold on to the 2100s. I hope you guys enjoy. We will finish this ladder. I'll see you guys. Goodbye, my friends.